So everyone touch your brainstem. This is your brainstem. This is where you are in fight or flight. You have access to very little resources here. You are triggered, is what adults might call that state. You can tell someone's in brainstem because they're shut down. Children might have a glaze over their eye, or adults could be in shock as well. Um, your only resources are fighting somebody else or just running away. We've all been there, right? Touch this part of your brain. This is your prefrontal lobe. This deserves a different color. <laughs> This is where all of your brilliance lies. This is where you have unlimited potential. This is where we want to be. This is where we want our employees to be, our children, our husbands, our partners, our best friends. We want to, if we could choose what state we want all of the world to be in, right? It's here. This is what peace looks like. So how do we get from here when we're triggered, because children trigger us all day long, trigger us, Children do things that could be perceived as triggering all day long. Um, humans do things that don't work for each other all the time. So how do we get from this state to this state? That's where we start talking about something very exciting that they have discovered through brain research called corticolimbic connections, or CLC. This is what you want to do. This is what you want to know about. C L um, they are what allow us to override lower states of the brain and move into higher states of the brain. These connections, they're sort of like links in a chain. The more CLCs you have, the easier it is for you to get out of brainstem into higher states of the brain. You cannot get into the prefrontal lobe if you are in a state of fear. The limbic system will not allow it. There are many systems in the brain or that affect, uh, the, that affect the whole body, that affect the brain. Um, you can only get here if you're not scared. Now, it doesn't mean that you could be scared because you're in a really dangerous situation, but because you have a lot of CLCs, you can override that and move to here. So it doesn't mean that the outside world has to be safe for you to be in your prefrontal lobe. It just means you need to have enough CLCs. As children grow, their brain is like mush and it solidifies and solidifies and all these connections, these neural connections, the way the synapses fire, it's all getting more concreted. Um, so their CLCs are just fortifying. A child who has no ability to, for self-control, which is what you have in the prefrontal lobe, doesn't have a lot of CLCs to get there. Children that are two and three are just developing their CLCs. An adult who's 45, who has no ability to consider other people or stop themselves um, from doing something they know is harmful to them, which we all do, right? But if someone has zero ability to do that, that person doesn't have a lot of CLCs. That person might piss a lot of people off. People might not like someone like that. Very unlikable people, in general, have very few CLCs. This is, for me, one of the exciting things about this is the birth of empathy and understanding other human beings. It's not that this person is trying to be a jerk. They simply do not have CLCs. People who are highly considerate of other people, people who are able to be successful in life, people who have an idea and are able to execute it, they have a lot of CLCs. So CLCs are what you want to see in the brain for everyone on the planet, for everyone in your life. Because a lot of CLCs equals a lot of peace. And peace is what we want, right? So we'll put that in purple, peace. So, but then we get into the dilemma of human nature and the mind and our thoughts and our beliefs. And I'm gonna erase this and start over here. Hope you all got that down. <laughs> um, we're gonna start with the concept that our upset comes from outside of us. My children are driving me crazy. Crazy. My husband is making me nuts. That is a concept that the outside world is what's making me crazy. That is me taking my peace and hanging over to the first person that comes along and pisses me off. That is giving away your power. This is ingrained in mostly all of us, is my guess. 
most humans on the, on the planet have this core belief that my upset comes from outside. And when that happens, when my upset is localized outside of me, then I have to control all of these things, and then I can have peace. Now, we know this is millions of things. Well, you know, just if they would stop fighting over in Iraq, I could have peace. If there weren't so many hungry children on the planet, I could have peace. If my husband would take out the trash every Monday, I would have peace. Um, if my child would do exactly what I told them to do, exactly the moment I told them to do it, then I could have peace. If my boss would give me a raise, then I can have peace. So we're giving our, our peace and our well-being away to other people, because now they're empowered. Now they've got all the power of our peace. If they do what we want them to do, then we can find peace. This leads into some serious control, as I said, and manipulation. And do you like getting controlled and manipulated? No. This is why we struggle with other humans, whether that human is our child or that human is our partner. All these people we are trying to control and manipulate so we can have what we need. That whole system is obviously has some issues, um, but does not lead to peace for anybody. They don't like being controlled and manipulated. They throw their stuff back at you. <laughs> you don't like what they're doing. So the only way that we can move away from control and into connection is what many people suggest and I am a fan of. How do we go from control to connection is by allowing these people to be exactly who they are. So the arrows turn and instead of my upset is them, my upset is me. What's upsetting me is my thoughts about who they should be that they're not what they should do that they're not doing. They're not doing it. Yeah, we know it. <laughs> they're not doing all the things you want them to do. That is upsetting you. Your thoughts about what should be happening are what's upsetting you. So we cannot connect with another human being without trying to manipulate them unless we get and understand that our peace is ours and it's not for giving away. And how do we get there? By questioning our thoughts, questioning the thoughts and getting a little bit of space from them. When you question your thoughts and you realize that you're not your thoughts, you get a little bit of space. So if we want to develop CLCs in our children, in our family, in our employees, in our bosses even, and ourselves most importantly, the way to do that is through connection and releasing the MO to control and manipulate. Now, that is a huge task. I'm not asking you in one hour to let, release control and manipulation. That is a huge life's work. Um, and there is a gradient of releasing that. But it begins with questioning your thoughts. And that is the bulk of this mindfulness training is how do we find peace in ourselves and stop trying to control everything around us and finding that everything's okay just as it is we don't need everyone else to change, then we can show up and be a coach. We're not trying to manipulate you, we're trying to teach connection to other human beings. So we're not just giving up on the world and going, oh, we've got peace inside, <laughs> have a nice time, y'all, with, with everything you're up to. We're saying we have peace inside and we can show up as a coach and a companion for connection and spread the consciousness of connection. And through that, there can be peace on the planet. So once we get and understand the movement from control to connection, um, and in this mindfulness training we really explore what are my limiting beliefs, and um, I'm going to, we, PJ and I are going to support you rewiring your brain for beliefs that are more in line with your <laughs> gesture to the imaginary prefrontal cortex, beliefs that bring you here thoughts that bring you here, the ability, the tools that bring you to this place. How do I have more presence with myself to develop my own CLCs? How do I call in relationships to my life that help me develop my CLCs? Once we get there, then we explore, okay, how do I create more connection with other human beings and be that coach? What, are, what, what do those strategies look like? 
Um, and there's many strategies to draw from, but people often show up and try to learn conscious discipline or nonviolent communication, and they find it really difficult to implement. It's because they're trying to control and not connect. And that is just a wall. And you find the, the information, the strategy is kind of useless because you can't get there. You can't really have empathy for your child when they're throwing a tantrum and it's not working for you if you're trying to control them. If you notice that they're throwing a tantrum and they're throwing themselves on the ground and you're not trying to control them, you can be like, oh, I noticed you're throwing your body on the ground. How can I show up to connect with this being? I'm not trying to save this being. I'm not trying to dismiss it. I'm not angry at it. I'm not trying to make a change. I am just noticing that this child does not have the tools to move itself through this tantrum. I'm going to show up and help it gain those tools through practice. My teenager, <laughs> that's a great example. Um, you know, my teenager keeps sneaking out late at night. I'm not trying to control this child. I want this child to have the tools to keep this himself, herself safe in the world. Um, how do I show up and coach that child, work with that child through connection to help them make better choices? Because we know that with our children, we let them out into the world at some point. We do not always have control over them. We have a perceived control um, in our world that we are the rule makers. But we want our children to develop CLCs so that they can go out in the world and make choices that will help them move towards their dreams. Realize who they are. Um, the same is true of our employees, of our parents, of our spouses. Doesn't everyone want to control their parents? Make your parents be just a little bit different so that you can have your big undying needs met for whatever it is, respect, being seen and understood. Um, yeah, when we let go of that, it's amazing what happens. So the first part of the training is how to move from control to connection and rewiring our own brain so we can show up and then really experiment with new strategies and see what works for you and what doesn't work for you in all of your different relationships because we are so much more complex than just one dynamic. You know, we might have 20 of these that we're juggling. Um, some of us might only have five, but who are the people that are creating your upset in your, in your mind story? That, that map will help us know who we want to experiment with, who our focus is.